Hey guys, it's Brittany with Scott Lurie Marketing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add an admin account to the Rainmakers command platform. This will allow the admin to log in using their own credentials for their administrative account, and it's going to be directly linked to the Rainmakers account. So this won't share any marketing materials or designs or smart plans. However, it will give that admin access to all opportunities created by any team member, as long as it's put under the team name. It will also give them access to Rainmakers contacts, referrals, and tasks, as long as they're being put under that Rainmakers account. So this will also give your admin a marketing profile of their own. So if you're looking to have that administrative assistant published on your team website, this will actually allow their information to pull to that Meet the Team page. So to start, I'm logged in under the Rainmakers platform, right in command, and I'm just going to start by clicking on the name in the top right hand corner and then settings. Once this page loads, we're just going to click on general settings and we're going to see team management. If you're not seeing team management, you can click on select team select your team, and then that should force that through, just in case. Once you guys are under general settings, we're just going to click on team management. And you'll see right here, you have access to invite a user, and we're just gonna click on that. When this pops up, we're just gonna put in our information. And this is whatever email address that you use for your business. And then you can select a password as well. And then I agree. And then send request. What that's going to do is it's going to send a confirmation email over to whatever email you're putting on file. You have to verify that account before it will let you log in. And it's also going to provide you your username in that email. So once you click send request, it does usually take about five, 10 minutes for it to come through. However, you should have that waiting for you in your email. And then once you verify it, you'll be able to go to the command console, which is going to be agent.kw.com, and you'll be able to log in with your new credentials, your username and the password that was just set up. If for some reason you need to remove a team admin, you can come right back into your team management section and you'll just click on the little trash can next to their name and that will completely delete their login. They'll no longer have access to that administrative platform. And then just so you guys know, if you do have more than one administrative assistant, you are able to create two accounts. However, you are capped at two accounts. So if you have three administrative assistants, the third one would not have access to these platforms. They would essentially need to be added to the team tool by the office. So they wouldn't have access to the opportunities, the contacts, referrals, and tasks. They would essentially just have access to their own command platform and have access to their own actual identity on the command platform. So they can add their own contacts, they can add their own opportunities, but they won't have access to those team functions. And that is how you guys add a team admin to the Rainmakers account.